So welcome back everybody, today we have again a quick video about the Apple M1 chips. We're going to test how After Effects performs on the Apple M1 chip from last year versus the new M1 Pro chip which was just released a month ago. By the way, if you're looking for more tests and comparisons, I have a full playlist with videos where I test the performance of After Effects on the M1 Pro chip. I will leave a link in the description below if you want to check it. Now the worst tensions I'm using are the 13-inch MacBook Pro 2020 with M1 chip, 8-core CPU, 8-core GPU, 16GB RAM and 512GB SSD storage. And the other one is the 14-inch MacBook Pro 2021 with M1 Pro chip, 10-core CPU, 16-core GPU, 16GB RAM and 1TB of SSD storage. For this test, I will use the 2022 version of After Effects because this version has a new feature called Cache Frames When Idle, which will use idle processing time to render cache frames in the current composition. So that means that After Effects will automatically cache all the frames when we are not using the program and we can then preview our project without having any drop frames. We are also going to take advantage of the multi-frame rendering feature which gives After Effects the power to use all the CPU cores from our system by rendering multiple frames at the same time, both during preview and while exporting via render queue. Before starting out, let's clear all the memory and this cache just so we have a clean test and no cached frames. Alright, we're going to start by previewing the videos. I will wait until all the frames are cached while timing the process. And we clearly have a winner there, it looks like the M1 Pro variant leads this round and it's finished with a 3 minutes and 36 seconds while the M1 is still going. And we're done, we have 4 minutes and 43 seconds for the simple M1 and again 3 minutes and 36 seconds for the M1 Pro. Let's now render both videos. By the way, if you guys want me to test other features of After Effects to see how they perform with the M1 Pro chip, let me know in the comments and I'll try to do quick videos like this one. And not specifically with After Effects, maybe you want to see how Premiere Pro is performing or even Photoshop. And it seems like the M1 Pro version is done, we have 11 minutes and 59 seconds. And we're now waiting for this simple M1 version to finish. It seems like it's taking much more time to render but it's no surprise. This MacBook Pro has 8 cores, of which only 4 are high performance, while the M1 Pro has 10 cores, of which 8 are high performance, so double the difference there. And we have the results exactly like we expected, almost double the time. We have 22 minutes and 13 seconds for the simple M1, and again 11 minutes and 59 seconds for the M1 Pro. So, is it worth the upgrade? I would say yes, we have pretty good performance, but if you're planning to get the M1 Pro version, I'd suggest going for the 32GB RAM. Alright, this was the test, thanks for watching and talk to you in the next video, bye!